It all started seven years ago, back in 2015, and now James Corden says one more year and he's done with The Late Late Show. This will be my last year hosting The Late Late Show. Don't you dare. <laughs> Let's find out in this video why James Corden decided to say goodbye to a successful show. It's been reported that James Corden has extended his contract for the CBS Late Night series for one year and will depart ahead of summer 2023. Corden will have hosted The Late Late Show for eight and a half years by the time he departs, which is of course a major achievement. James Corden has revealed that he has stayed on the show way longer than he expected when he started it. When I started this journey, it was always going to be just that. It was going to be a journey, an adventure. I, I never saw it as my final destination, you know, and I, I never want this show to overstay its welcome in any way. I always want to love making it. The man said it has been hard to say goodbye because this has been a part of my life for years now. While speaking to Deadline, he said it's really been a hard decision to leave because I'm so immensely proud of the show. I'm thrilled to be extending for a year. I always thought I'd do it for five years and then leave, and then I stayed on. I've been really thinking about it for a long time, thinking whether there might be one more adventure. Corden signed a contract to host The Late Late Show, which was hosted for nine years by Craig Ferguson in 2014 and premiered on March 23rd, 2015. The Gavin and Stacey co-creator was somewhat of a surprise choice, but he reinvigorated the 12.30 a.m. time slot on CBS and breathed new life into late night with viral segments such as Carpool Karaoke, Drop the Mic, Spill Your Guts, and Crosswalk Musical. The Late Late Show is currently one of the most watched shows on the internet as well. This is pretty much evident in the stats of YouTube. Corden's Carpool Karaoke with Adele has been watched more than 250 million times on YouTube, while his journey with One Direction has racked up 189 million. The Late Late Show YouTube page itself has nearly 10 billion views and has more than 27 million subscribers, the second highest in late night. The management of the show has been trying their best to convince Corden to stay. CBS chiefs including President and CEO George Cheeks, CBS Entertainment President Kelly Call, CEVP Programming Thoms Sherman, CBS Studios boss David Staff, and Nick Bernstein, CVP Late Night Programming, West Coast are keen to keep Corden and offered a variety of deals including a three-year extension, a two-year extension, and a rolling one-year deal before he made his decision. And it will be the decision of me and my wife and our family because we're a really long way away from home and we're a really long way away from people who are getting older and we're a really long way from them if something should ever happen. And that plays on my mind a lot. It plays on my mind the relationship that my children might have with their families and cousins and uncles and grandparents. While talking about these guys, Corden said, My bosses here at CBS have been incredibly supportive and extraordinarily patient with me while I made this decision. Cheek said, Seven years ago, James Corden came to the US and took television by storm, with huge creative and comedic swings that resonated in a big way with viewers on air and online. From Crosswalk the Musical to the legendary Carpool Karaoke and every unique comedy segment he introduced, James has truly reimagined many elements of the late night format. He has also been the consummate network showman, entertaining audiences from his nightly perch at Television City, as well as the Tony and Grammy stage. Right now, to you, our audience, I am nothing if not a man of integrity. George Cheeks further added, In my two years at CBS, I've had the privilege to see James's creative genius up close and experience his valuable partnership with CBS, both as a performer and a producer. We wish he could stay longer, but we are very proud that he made CBS his American home and that his partnership will extend one more season on The Late Late Show. Corden's move marks the second high-profile change in the late night in the last 12 months after a relatively stable few years. Conan O'Brien recently left the space after a long career behind the desk, and Jimmy Kimmel's future is also uncertain, with the comedian publicly discussing whether he'll continue to host his ABC show. CBS also will have to work out what it does after Corden and how they'll replace him. There's been much speculation during the past few years about whether Corden would exit The Late Late Show and return to the UK, but Corden told Deadline that he and his family genuinely don't know the answer to that. While talking about the possibility of returning to England, Corden said, It's something we think about and we talk about a lot, but we haven't really made a decision on that yet. That's the life side of things which we'll figure out. I love living here. I love everything it's given. My family and I have never taken this incredible adventure for granted. Every day I drive down Sunset to work and I think I'm from High Wycombe. Another thing that a lot of people might not be aware about Corden is that he's not just about The Late Late Show. The man has tasted success on many other platforms as well. He's always been an anomaly in Late Night, starring in films such as Peter Rabbit, Cats, and The Prom, where he received his first Golden Globe nomination for Best Actor, and hosting HBO Max's Friends The Reunion while he was hosting a nightly talk show. He's also a partner in Fullwell 73, the production company responsible for Hulu's The Kardashians and Camila Cabello's Cinderella, and stars alongside Sally Hawkins in Amazon's upcoming comedy drama series Mammals. 
Corden has made it abundantly clear that he's not leaving the show out of any resentment or because he's tired of it. He said he just wants to try his luck in something different now. I don't think my life should be one of a broadcaster. Like, I, I feel in my core, in my bones, that I'm a performer uh, or, or a writer or an actor and, 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 it, and, and I want to perform. And I adore this show every single day. I love it. Corden said, there's still some other things that I feel I want to do. I'd like to try and write. There's some stories I'd like to tell. I'd like to see if I'm capable of it. The fact that it's terrifying is the reason to do it. The man, however, still has one year left at the show, which means he's got 200 more shows to go, which will take him to around 1,250 since he started. Having told staff this afternoon, Corden wanted to give his entire team a good amount of notice so that the move wasn't a surprise. He said, out of respect for all the staff, I want to tell them now and say that I can really go into the last year with absolute enthusiasm and passion and love. These shows are not built by one person. I'm very fortunate I get to work with some people whose talents and gifts just blow my mind. The extension also means that Corden will get to spend some time on putting the green with his friend Mark Noble, captain of his beloved West Ham United, who is retiring at the end of the season. He said he's the happiest that I'm not leaving in September because he's desperate to get out and play some golf. I'll have been here for eight and a half years. He's been at that club since he was nine. Nothing makes me happier to be thought of in the same breath as Mark Noble, but I would be undeserving of such praise. Now, Corden and his team have to try and top their entrance, where Corden persuaded Tom Hanks to do a career retrospective with him in his opening episode, which also featured appearances from Arnold Schwarzenegger, Billy Crystal, Chris Rock, and Meryl Streep. They said they're going to make the best of all time they have got together. Corden said, I'll miss the adrenaline of thinking, next week I'm going to jump out of a plane with Tom Cruise, or in two weeks' time we're going to drive around the White House in a car with Michelle Obama, or sing Penny Lane with Paul McCartney driving down Penny Lane. Corden said that he never thought he would be able to achieve this much in his life. He never expected that this show would become this big a success for him. He said that it has left all the ambitions he had behind because it has turned out to be bigger than those ambitions. Corden said, all of my greatest ambitions for what is what the show could be, it's absolutely surpassed them. My intention is to try and go out in exactly the same way we came in, which is just going out with a bang. One thing that he has emphasized the most is the fact that the people he got to work with have been amazing to him. These are all the guys that are they're all, all always behind these cameras and we don't get a chance to, to see them and we want to celebrate this incredible thing that they have done. So the band and I are going to take over their jobs while we salute them properly. Corden has made it abundantly clear that he's not leaving because of any dispute. He just wants to go for something different now and most importantly, he wants to make the most of the time he has on The Late Late Show. I really think in a year from now, that'll be a good time to, to move on and, and see what else might be out there, okay? But I gotta tell you, we're not leaving today. We still have a year to go. And I am, we are all determined to make this the best year we have ever had. That was all the time we had today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. See you soon in the next video.